welcome. Good evening to a not just I uh, I know I would say a special edition, but a historic edition of Cat Space. I'm Cat. With me is Buckets, and tonight in my corner is my is Luna and Leon. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Sorry about that, guys. Your backgrounds are better than mine. Mine crashed on Friday, and I still haven't fixed it yet. Wow. For those people who are watching, for those people who are watching the YouTube video, sorry, my my background hasn't been fixed yet. Okay, so tonight's historic edition is about Vice President Kamala Harris. Let's start off by saying Joe Biden has officially, as of this morning, um, well, yeah, this morning Australian time, last on American time, has stepped down, won't run for re-election, and he has officially endorsed. Vice President Kamala Harris as uh, the nominee for the uh, uh, Democratic Party. Let's get started. We are going to go around in turns to try and get our answers straight in. Let's go with you, Buckets. If Trump was to properly challenge Kamala Harris on what topics could be Kamala's weak points? Um, I think one of her weak points is the fact that um, because of Biden's incompetence, um she's been basically used as um a foreign minister rather than a vice president and um trump may actually bring that up um but he'll have to blame all of the democrats not just Kamala, for for this incompetence so he might actually bring that up um maybe another thing that um she might um, get herself into trouble was um, the southern border which is like a project that um, is designed to allow Kamala Harris to fail because it is a massive problem that they just simply don't know how to fix um, and um, I think also the fact that um, you know there, there, there might be something in her background where they might <laughs> get her on or something like that but I'm not it's it's really hard with Kamala because it's very hard to blame her for anything because well like I said she's been mainly a a foreign minister and a foreign minister what they do is they fix up all the problems and mistakes that the prime minister or the, in this case the president have actually done um so it, it's it's it'll be very very hard to actually um persecute um Kamala Harris I think the only thing that maybe they could get on Kamala Harris maybe the only thing is Kamala Harris wishes to have um uh reinstate Roe v Wade and uh, allow women to have um abortions again whereas Donald Trump is um pro-life um so maybe that that could swing it to people that um, take their Christian faith very, very seriously, but that's about it. I can't see anything else that it's going to be really, really difficult to take down Kamala Harris. Well said, Luna. Same question, your answer. If Trump was to properly challenge Vice President Kamala Harris, on what topics could Kamala's weak points be? Well, I think Kamala's going into this with a little bit of weakness and that's, pretty much the basis of what Philip said is that she doesn't have the experience even as a vice president, really. Um, she should have been doing a whole lot more, especially watching Biden decline. Um, it was so obvious to so many people that she should have been stepping in a lot more. Um, and I, I believe that that in itself could be a weakness for her. Um, uh, Trump's already got experience in office. Trump's got experienced people on his team. I'm not saying that she doesn't, but she lacks that first run that she should have been getting as vice president. Oh, tough answer, Leon. Rebuttal. I think well, it's not really a rebuttal. I agree with I agree with Bill on this one too because the borders. She's she's playing as a foreign minister, and her borders and the borders have not been uh, good. That's a weak spot for Kamala Harris, and also one which has been doing the rounds. I have noticed on Twitter, even though I know it's BS, but Donald Trump could play that citizen, that legitimate citizenship card because 
of her, the fact that uh, Kamala's, uh, Kamala's parents were not born in America, but she was. <clears throat> so Donald Trump could play that line, even though it's going to come up on fact checkers as being false, because technically it's true, but anybody who was born in the United States is technically a United States citizen. So uh, he'll probably run that one. He'll probably run that one into the ground, but I do believe her weak point is the border, is the borders, and also, and I have noticed, and I did send, and I did send it on to our chat beforehand. Uh, the Republicans have already released a attack ad on Kamala Harris. Basically, Kamala Harris doing everything for Joe Biden, and it hasn't pretty much worked out. So, um. Kamala Harris, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. But one thing she might play, I don't, I don't expect her to, but I reckon a lot of people might play this, might play the race card, and I would hate that happen in the election. I would have to say the border issue is one massive thing that people have complained about. But I'm sorry, Lou, I have to disagree with you. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I disagree. Um. Kamala Harris has vast experience under her belt. She's gone from not just a social lawyer, but to a state attorney, a general attorney, a prosecutor. She's had, she can fight and she's fought for a lot of things. And I think with the way she's having to now wake up in the morning, our time and going, okay, I might be president of the United States of America. That's big shoes to fill. If I was her, I'd I'd be scared to list, but at the same same time, you know, this is a moment in history where this trajectory is happening and it's happening super fast. And she's been on the campaign trail. And now all these different people are like backing her, which you know, I really have to give her praise. I the one complaint I have is the southern border, but I can't fault her on on anything else. That's my two cents. Here we go. Is who would be Kamala Harris's vice president? Buckets. Uh Gavin Newsom for sure. He's definitely up there. He's very very popular. He's more popular than um Kamala Harris right now. Um, I I mean there is rumors that. Michelle Obama might join, but Michelle Obama has basically said multiple times that she doesn't want to become president or even vice president for that matter. Um, there, there might be um, another, um, I, like I know he's not running right now and he's he's finished his term or whatever, but I would like the uh, the governor to become vice president. <laughs> like, no, I, I just, just for the laughs, shits and giggles. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, I, I like. Um, uh, but to be but to be perfectly honest, um, it would be smart to take on um, uh, uh, Gavin Newsom. To be honest, um, purely due to his popularity. Okay, but uh, Luna, thoughts? What's the Who question? Here, Vice President. Oh, um. All right. So, I'm not that familiar with American politicians. But I will say that I believe that whoever it will be, they will be someone who has been an underdog perhaps for some time, um, someone whose party stands for many, um, someone who is independent, someone who will bring something unique to the role. Um, I think if she were to win, um, that's going to be whoever comes after her, like her, her victory is going to be so great, you know, woman president of America, like, come on, do you know what I mean? It's going to be the biggest victory in all of time for a while. Um, whoever is next to her is going to have to be okay with being in not the spotlight. They're going to have to be okay walking beside the spotlight. And it might be a great opportunity for someone who is an underdog to come up a little bit and um, support her. And hopefully she'll be able to create some change through that. I agree. Well, Leon? Okay, so we're looking at vice presidents now. What about Pete Buttigieg? Ooh, he'd be, I had he'd be, he'd be, he'd be one of the favourites to be the uh, Democratic VP. Obviously, 
we've heard Michelle Obama in there, but, but as Phil said, the Buckets had said, you know, she has not been interested in doing this, although having, say, Kamala Harris and Michelle Obama would be one hell of one hell of a combination and that would be a formidable challenge for donald trump that's for sure yeah. um also gretchen whitmer as well that's a that's a name that could be tossed up there as well as gavin newsom uh, you guys have mentioned gavin newsom he may be a bit popular but uh i don't think he's that uh popular and i don't think he'd have that much of a chance but i would probably go uh with probably either pete buttergig or gretchen whitmer as the uh, Democratic VP nominee? If I was to pick, I would go with Pete Buttigieg. One, he served his country. He was a soldier. He fought, I think he did two a tour, two tours, I think you've guessed, in Anorak. I'm not and he's only 42. Yep, and he's pretty young. And he served his country with distinction. And he's a great politician. He's well-learned. He's smart, educated. He's bright. And uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. I'd, I'd really like to see him being announced as her running mate, as her VP. But what was that other lady's name? I had Gretchen Whitmer as well. I don't know much about her. Um, all I know is she's a Democrat, but I don't know what her back history is. But uh, I yeah, know... she's she's currently serving as the 49th governor of Michigan since 2019. Oh, Michigan, okay. Can I can I say something, right? It's not unusual for it's not unusual. Sorry, uh, it's not unusual for Hollywood stars to be involved in uh, politics. Reagan's done it. Um, I hear you, Phil. Kanye I'm for vice president. Jesse Ventura. Well, I, I was actually going to say George Clooney. I mean, he practically took down Biden by Jesse not funding him. Ventura. Now that is a name I've not heard in. He was the mayor from Minnesota. Was it was the governor of Minnesota, uh, Minnesota back in 1998, 1999. Yeah, he went from wrestler to governor. Yep. A mayor. Oh, I just put Luke Skywalker in far out. Just to... use the force. Vote with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know this is going to sound crazy, but Obama's done his two terms, right? But by law, technically in America, he can actually run as VP and do like eight years as VP because he's already been president. And by law, a president of the United States can actually run as VP. Yeah. But now, just, that would be an epic ticket as well. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, like, that this is one of the reasons why people didn't vote in Hillary. People, In fact, they didn't call Hillary... Hillary, they actually called her Billary for this very reason. So they didn't want um, another version of Bill Clinton to be in. So I think Americans have a problem, would have a problem with uh, um, Obama becoming vice president because it would be almost the same thing as him becoming president again. So I don't think it would happen, to be honest. I don't think it will happen, but I do have, do say... What a what a nice ring to that that'll be. But again, if I could endorse someone, it'd be Pete Bridget. Next question. Uh, let's throw this to uh, to Leon. What could Kamala Harris do better than Trump? Oh, I think it would be. Oh well, um, Kamala Harris would be more into the understandings of you know the of the female audience, the female. Uh, what do you call it? Um, can, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here. Uh, she would be interested. She would, she would um reach a female target group. Female audience, yeah, the yeah female target, yeah. So she would have that experience as well. Um, but and also the, I don't know. To be honest, I think that would be the. I think that would probably be the best one actually. Uh, she could reach out to a female audience a lot better than Donald Trump would because Donald Trump doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. He'll say he'll say it, and he will just say it even if it is wrong. Absolutely. Do you like the fact that we're sitting up in space? Anyway, um, Luna, same question, your answer. What could Kamala Harris do better than Trump? Everything, in my opinion. Um, Such as? I, I, think, I think I... I... 
I hate the way that Trump speaks. I hate the way that he just so puts it out there um, and says such, he says mean things sometimes. He says, he says weird things. He says things that shouldn't be coming out of a president's mouth when you have a country full of multicultural people. Like you just, you should be standing for everyone mm. and try, if you really want to win, you know, you, you stand for everyone. And I think Kamala brings that to the role. I think she's diverse. She's unique, um, a woman um, of, of, a, of a different heritage. I mean, um, they did it with Obama. I don't see why they can't do it with Kamala. Um, she will definitely bring uniqueness to the role. Um, and also because that spotlight will be so heavily on her because it's a woman and she's um, a, a dark-skinned woman and, you know, vice versa, she'll also be able to accomplish so much more things with that fame of, being um, a female president, being dark skinned. Um, she'll be able to use that in her own unique way because she's smart like that. She'll be able to manipulate things and use that to the advantage of the country. Um, and I would hope that she could bring some peace to the country, really. Also some stability as well. Yeah. Um, I think personally, Kamala Harris would be great at foreign policy considering she's was used as a foreign minister. Um, so a lot of um, presidents of other countries, uh, even kings, um, she's had to strike up trade deals and stuff like that. And the also the other thing that Kamala Harris is impressively really, really good at um, is appreciating the United States Army and uh, also uh, the US as allies like Australia, like New Zealand, um, like England, um, like many, uh, she she would be really really good with foreign policy. The one thing about Trump is, Trump was more a domestic president than um a foreign president, whereas I think Kamala Harris is a foreign president. I I think she'll concentrate more on foreign policy, um because that's what she's been doing for the last four years. That's basically all she knows, um. So I, I think that she'll strike up good um, trade deals with um, other countries. Um, and I think maybe she'll probably try um, and have more environmental solutions than Trump would. Trump really doesn't give a crap about the environment all that much. Um, but um, it, it, it'll be interesting to see what she actually does. But I, I think that she's more of an international president than she'll be a domestic president, to be perfectly honest. What I think Kamala could do way better than Trump now, let's go back to the days of former first ladies where you had someone like Michelle Obama who believed in nutrition, good health, exercising, education, you know, reading, um, understanding culture, history. I think Kamala loves kids and I think she'll I think she'll use Michelle Obama's take and go okay well what I can do is you know make kids want to be healthy um Michelle Obama brought them to the White House and they were planting veggies and she was teaching them how to plant their own vegetables I think Kamala Harris will take that initiative into schools and teach kids how to plant their own vegetables you know what's good for them uh reading books that should not be banned um helping them to you know finish school i think job market wise i think a former prosecutor or a prosecutor state attorney general will fight for the everyday person i think medicaid and medicare is is not doing so well over there and i think the affordable care act she will push that while she will work on her own um health um health one for herself because of course Obama has Obamacare and then you have the Affordable Care Act so I think she'll use that until she comes up with her own one also I think it'll help with having having a staff that's 50-50 of equal partnership of men and women who have who have the same views like her in mind and who can help her settle in into the role as she's growing and learning about herself and growing into the 
and to being a president. And I think she'll assert herself positively and show a really dignified, self-respected version of a president. We've never had a woman president and we were close with Hillary, with Hillary. But I think this is going to be a much more tougher version of Kamala, I think. The thing is, the only issue I have with that is that politicians shouldn't be based off the sex that they hold. I think they should be based off the experience and the quality of the person. I don't think sex should play a part. I don't think these politicians should have um, a, a role to play purely because they're female or purely because they're male. I think they should really be um, put into these roles because they're experienced. Mm. You're Kamala talking about Harris. equality here, you know, yeah, experience about... rather than equality. Well, I mean, I, I, I think that experience um, counts more than equality, if, if you want my honest opinion, because I can put someone in that's a, a male, but if he's rubbish at his job, he shouldn't be working there. Exactly. You when know? you've answered my next question, here we go. Um, will, will Kamala Harris win based of race or sex? Leon. Um, I hope it doesn't come down to that card, to be honest. Otherwise, we're going to end up with the same bloody riots and stuff like that that we had in 2020, 2019, 2020, and basically every year that there's been riots, it's always been about race. I hope it's not about race. And I noticed on Twitter this afternoon, you know, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, you're a racist. I mean, shut up. I mean, fair dig. I mean, grow up, will you? It, whoever wins the election deserves to be the president of the United States. This is not about race. Hmm. Good point. Luna? Same question, your answer. Will Kamala Harris run based on race or sex? <clears throat> it's gonna both both those factors are gonna contribute to her win if they if she wins. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um America is entirely still based around race, even if they don't want to admit it. They're trying so very hard to come out of that. Being a mixed race country, like what are you meant to do? Do you know what I mean? Um do I think that at the polls, more people are going to turn out to vote for her that um, are voting for her because of her race, yes. I don't think that they would have voted if it was between Biden and Trump at all. No. They Apart would have from that, them. it's not mandatory. That's the thing. Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So there there will be a turnout audience, so to speak, for her based upon her gender and based upon her race. Um. However, we'll see if it's going to be the same that rallied for when Obama was voted in. So it could be anyone's game. It really could. If, awesome. if, if you want my honest opinion, I think that um, the only reason why Biden won was because of Kamala Harris. And that was purely based off race and, and sex. In fact, there were even, I remember the first inauguration speech that was given, the, the speech writer accidentally said, President Kamala accidentally. And, you know, in psych uh, psychology terms, we would call that a Freudian slip. slip. So <laughs> I, I I think, you know, if you look at how Biden first started as president, he was okay for the first six months and then it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So, um, and a lot of people were saying that um, it, the only reason that Biden won was because Kamala Harris was on the meal ticket. If um, Kamala Harris was not on the meal ticket, then there's a really good chance that Biden would not be the president of the United States. Um, so I, I think more people will come out to vote purely because of um, sex and race. Um, if Biden had not stepped down, Donald Trump would easily win the president and presidency. And I think that secretly um, Donald Trump wanted Biden in as long as possible so it would be a clean sweep. But it's not a clean sweep anymore because they've just changed. Well, they, they, they have, uh, Kamala Harris, a lot of people are backing Kamala Harris and will, most likely she will be the elected nominee. I think for me, I think for me it's going to be a bit of both. Let's go back in time a bit when Obama was running and the whole nation except for the, the red swing states, majority of the nation voted for Barack Obama, right? This was historic. 
And what happened was, is that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was celebrated that day because apparently, and you can I fact check me, correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did say there will be several others who will take them to the promised land, to the top of the mountain. And I think after many years, it's now happening all over again. And if it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when she wins, there's going to be celebrations, not just in America, but here in Australia, if you listen to the noise here in Australia, there are women who are all for Kamala, who are setting up parties right now to watch the Democratic National Party, who will watch her inauguration. There are women all around the world. And hearing the news this morning, I was on my way to my course and I was on the train and I looked at buckets and I could have, I swear to you, I could have cried happy tears. I was so elated in myself. I felt so proud to lift my head up and puff my chest down and say, I am a woman of the world. I can do anything. I can be anything. I can achieve anything. And finally, the world's going to hear us roar because finally we have a woman who's going to be president of the United States of America and of the free world. Finally. Our voices are going to be loud and it'll be so powerful. I'm trying not to cry because this for me is momentous. They are going to choose her based on, she's the first South Asian woman of Indian and Jamaican descent. History or her story is about to happen. <laughs> I like the way you use that term. That's very clever. I like that. Uh, her story. I, I'd just like to point out, look, that one of the reasons why Obama got such a massive uh, applause was because prior to Obama, George W. Bush was in power and people, there was suspicions of whether or not he actually rigged the election twice. Um, if you remember, everyone was saying that Al Gore was meant to win the presidency and uh, they George said... George oh, W. won. And George W. won. And everyone was really, really upset about that. Um, hey, next but, time, get out and vote. It's not that difficult. But the, um, I think the, I remember when Obama actually did get voted in. Um, I just felt that that was just a, a breath of fresh air, to be to be perfectly honest. Um, but there was so much bad, so many bad things that was happening under the Bush administration that it was it was really, really hectic. Um, uh, in, in saying that, um, it it'll be it'll be interesting what Kamala. I mean, I'm hoping that Kamala Harris doesn't just use um, the fact that she's um, dark skinned um, or or a woman to sell why you should vote her in. I, I I really want her to sell the idea that it's not just the color of her skin or the particular gender that she is as to why she should be president. I, I think that she should really sell the idea that she's a smart woman that knows what she's doing, that can lead the country. Otherwise, you're just going to have a repeat of Joe Biden where there's a, where America is seen to have a weak leadership and America does not need a weak leadership right now. All I, the one last thing I want to say about this is Leon... Please don't come at me for this, but I have to give props to the Simpsons. They predicted another one. But they yet, haven't predicted it yet because no, she's not the president yet. They also yeah. predicted, by the way, the Simpsons also predicted Hillary Clinton to be a president as well. That one hasn't happened. However, the um, Kamala Harris one might be on track because I'm just having a look at the latest uh, latest. Uh, "Quote unquote betting odds and stuff like that." Kamala Harris is has brought it right back. She's at three dollars, and mind you, don't gamble, please. Whatever you do, um, Donald Trump is still a favorite to win at a dollar forty-five, and Kamala Harris has now brought the Democrats back to three dollars. So it is tightening up. It's tightened up real quick in the last uh, twenty-four hours. 
I yeah. just like to point out. Sorry, I just like to po po point out that Lisa Simpson is yellow and Kamala Harris isn't actually yellow. But the and outfits that, that she racist. wore was both now, blue. Now, how do you explain me and Lisa Simpson being different colours? Then Philip has got the same name. <laughs> What's your last name? Is your last name Simpson? It is. Uh, <laughs> but are the, you related to related to a, is, a dishwasher, perhaps? So. The thing is, it's the clothes that you've seen Kamala Harris wears. Not yesterday, but the day before, she was wearing her purple jacket with a purple top, purple pants, and the pearl necklace. It's. I'm sure. I'm sure she's seen that episode, and I think she's mimicking it. I would like to have felt so too because that was tremendous. I, I saw I saw that, but I thought that was absolutely tremendous. And I also predicted uh, Donald Trump going down an escalator as well, golden escalator. And I think, I think, no, I think I know when she wins, people are going to be all over TikTok going, the Simpsons have done it again. The Simpsons have done it again. Another yep, one in the yep, bag. Yep. And, and I, think, I agree. I think Kamala Harris has seen this episode. She's picked out the clothes. You know, she, <laughs> and she wore it when she was vice president. She was being sworn in. That's Everyone, called walking into the prediction dressed as what they've already told you to wear, Kat. You know, and look at that. As I you can tell, our Lisa's right? wearing the same stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't well. be surprised if if there has been someone um in, in her cabinet that said, look, do it. <laughs> do it to, to, to make the Simpsons prophecy true and you'll become even more popular. Yeah. So I, I would not be surprised if someone's literally watched The Simpsons and said, look, you're a female, let's get her a pearl necklace. Let's make her look a little bit like Lisa Simpson. Let's even get her to say the same things as Lisa Simpson and we'll make prophecy. She also has the same characteristics as Barack Obama. She can dance. She has some moves. She has some moves. She can dance her booty off. And I yeah, you're right. She has moves, all right. If they, if they, the Republicans and Kamala Harris move the 25th Amendment, Kamala Harris will be the female president, at least for the last 100 days of this campaign. Well, there's moves for you. Well, they're, they're, the thing is, the, the Republicans really, really want that to happen because they're saying Joe Biden is weak, Joe Biden is weak. But if Kamala Harris was to enact the 25th Amendment, which she would honestly um uh should get the support of everybody yes but if she was to do it okay um the republicans can say oh well she Kamala rolled Harris the president just so she can get to the she's top addicted to power oh she wants more power <laughs> i so... think the fact that a <laughs> You know, I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what's wrong with him. But if you notice, when he salutes, you can see his arm, his wrist visibly shaking. And they've started to say, oh, he's got, you know, early Parkinson's. You know, he's got, uh, uh, you know, early onset dementia. He's like, he even called Vice President Harris, Vice President Trump. Yeah, and, and, that's and the other day, he almost kissed a young Blonde girl thinking she's his wife. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw that bit of footage and I was like, Are you serious, bro? I was like, <laughs> and in comes Joe Biden yelling at him in front of people, like, She's not me, blah blah. I look the other way, blah. I'm not going, Oh, oh this kind of reminds me of the Nike gun, guy. too, where he, where uh, Lieutenant Frank Drebin kisses the queen instead of kissing Priscilla Presley. <laughs> but wait, didn't Joe Biden once kiss Kamala Harris's husband? <laughs> wait, what? When was this told in the news? I didn't see this. We it just was... lost Lisa for a second. Oh, God. Uh, you was... lost me, too. I it mean, was last year when he was doing his first state of. Um... Was it State of the Union speech? Thank goodness it wasn't Dick Cheney. You would have thought I'd be He's honestly done some really, like, I'm just expecting him to walk on stage and his pants just fall down at any moment. Like, and he just stands <laughs> there, like. That'd be another just, Simpsons And prediction. he just puts his hands up, like, because he doesn't know what's going on. He'd be the first in. president elect to basically get an erect or maybe even moon a few on the way out. <laughs> He's president Zelensky, President Putin. That was a shocker. That was, that was a bad. shocker. That was at NATO too, by the way. And and Zelensky was standing, he cracked up laughing, and everyone else is going, 
He was in What? shock. He was he was in shock when he like that is li literally like calling a Jewish person Adolf Hitler. That is total shock. But Total did you notice the Republicans, they were just sitting there like this. Yeah. They knew that he was done for at that point. I, I actually find the, the uh, you know, the fact I was... that the media, that the media have been basically protecting um, Joe Biden. Uh, Joe, Joe Biden for so long. Joe Biden? I... <laughs> Is that what you Jill. just said? No, I said. Oh, Jill, Jill. Yeah, but he's, they've been tr protecting the Bidens for so so That's long, right. That's right. and then they've just got, finally got to the point where is it? We can't protect him anymore. He's too hard to protect. He's it's, basically it's it, a before job. he stood down, he was practically Mr. Magoo at this point. Oh, I think it's yeah. been obvious for a long time that he was he's losing it. I, it's been obvious for a yeah. while now. We it really has. Can't keep lying. We can't. No, the world can't keep lying. But the thing is, Harry's like, doing a good job. <laughs> Mr. Harry, listen, I look. I'm as big as a Democrat as everybody, okay? But the thing is, the thing is, he's fallen up the flight of stairs like three times. He almost kissed a blonde chick. He almost called, kissed the Pope as well. He um he called himself his own husband. Yeah, but that's normal in he, Italian culture. I mean <laughs> He almost but, called himself his own husband. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he I did. heard that too. You know, uh... like Look, at the end of the day, I was watching today on TikTok. He shook hands with the invisible man. Yeah, I mean, he, was... he shakes hands with people <laughs> out there. He, he, where was he when he walked off and they tried to bring him back into the group photo? Well, um, had, he was, was watching a jump. flag being raised, wasn't he? He they was watching a flag being laid out normal. or something. <laughs> but where was he when that was happening? That was like I, last week. I, don't I feel think... like this is the very public roast of uh, Biden. I don't think I've seen that many politicians <laughs> jump that quickly in front of a US president before. It was like, oh my God, they're on a trampoline. It's amazing. But the thing is, we all know he's like Mr. Burns. After 4 p.m., it's like, click, and he's gone. Joe Biden should have his own comedy show. I mean, he should be on Comedy I mean, Central. Like, we all, look, I'm sure... The comedy that... Central roast of Joe Biden featuring Joe Biden. That'd be amazing. Look, I'm I'm sure sure he's he's just gonna... sitting there smiling. I can just see he's got no idea what's going on. He'd be like, <laughs> I'm sure he's a lovely man deep down the side and we thank you Mr. Biden for four years but I'm glad you passed the torch well yeah, not I mean, just the four years but more the 50 years of service that he's already years, put yeah. towards the American government and yeah. also the American people what he's done yeah. in his career well he did actually say that he was actually the youngest politician um, to enter politics and now he was the oldest and now he's the oldest he did um, say that yes I remember so that but if you've seen some of the clips that um, no. he he said in the past, I'm not even oh. going to mention it. Okay, you would like, who is this Joe Biden guy, and and why wasn't he torched earlier? But I'm not going to mention that because I know you torched. You've, I think, you've already mentioned it. <laughs> I think what pushed it over the uh, over the line for him to retire or to be pushed out of the way. Please don't hate me. Don't come at me. But it was the bullseye comment where it was just like. Yeah. That made it. That yeah, was it. I, I he think crossed the line. It, it, it was it was bad enough that he had all those gaffes and stuff with the UN and NATO and and pretty much his daily life. But the thing that actually did it was when he said that uh, Donald Trump should have a bullseye, and then the next day, someone's basically got out an AR. Well, it wasn't. The, it wasn't really the next day. It was like five days after it. But that's the problem. You know, some of the politicians they like saying things tongue in cheek, but there's some. Right, some outright nutters out there who will take that as he said that I better go do this, but well, that's I, the problem. They need to they need to stop doing that yeah. tongue in cheek thing because people will take it seriously, and that's the problem in America at the moment, unfortunately. Well, that's what started the um, the insurrection last time when um, Giuliani uh, Giuliani basically said, um, "Let's have trial let's by combat." Let's have trial by combat, and then all of a sudden. You've got an that, interaction. It happened, yeah. Um, so how is this? A lot of people are even saying that Biden should be arrested because he's incited an attempted assassination on Donald. Plus, Trump. mean you won't last in. Um, I don't think Donald. I don't think Donald Trump think will Donald, pursue Donald, Donald this. Donald Trump's not even going to go to prison anyway because now all of whatever he's done in his previous pre presidency is basically what wipes clean. 
that's not exactly true. If, it was, if he wasn't a politician at that point, uh, then he won't, and he'd still be tracked for a number of things. But as soon as he was no longer the president, right, that made, that exposed him. But um, the pro that's the one of the, the issues. You know, he thinks that he can, but he can't. Well, I and think I think, and I don't think, oh, sorry, dear, sorry, but I don't think that Donald Trump will push you. I, I don't think he would. If it was because of Joe Biden's age, I don't think he would pursue uh, legal action against um, against Joe Biden for that quip off the off the cup remark. And this came in days after the uh, Supreme Court basically said that you can say and do things while you're in office and get away with it. The only last thing I want to say about this is that that ad. Uh, of the younger generation saying, pass the torch, pass the torch. I think if he... That would have done it. If he's being pushed out or got pushed out, I think Donald Trump needs to pass the torch to someone else who's younger, who's fit, who can complete sentences and also not have memory loss and gaffes. And I think it's only fair that he shouldn't run either at his mental state. Well, the thing is, he's more popular than the Democrats right now. So, and he, look, Donald Trump, say what you like about him, but he is a tough competitor. He's a really tough competitor. So it's going to be interesting to see who actually wins this because, like, Donald Trump is a juggernaut. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe Kamala Harris might actually have a chance. Exactly. Next question. Last question. Okay, here we go. Luna, according to the Obamas, they have not endorsed Kamala Harris as of yet. Why do you think this is? They're going to be weighing up whether it's going to be beneficial for her cause or not. It mm. might have an opposite effect. There might be legal repercussions that come with them doing that. There might be some sort of party, political party, that he has to switch to or drop first before he does that. There might be little minute issues like that in terms of paperwork and how they would go about that because let's be honest, even though they can just say it, it probably does have to come through some sort of formal chapter, uh, some sort of letter, some sort of official statement um, for it to be binding. Um, and there comes, for every move that you make, there becomes a consequence as well, obviously. Um, it's possible that they might still and we just have to wait and see. Um, or it might be possible that them doing that might hurt her cause more than help it. So therefore they've decided to silently support. Fair enough. Buckets. Uh, according to the Obamas, they have not endorsed uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Why do you think that is? Because the Obamas want um, an open um, sort of trial kind of thing, if that makes any sense. So... The the thing is, at this point in time, no one wants to challenge, um, uh, no one wants to challenge Kamala Harris's um leadership right now. She thinks that everyone thinks that she's the best person for the job. Everyone thinks that she's the strongest candidate to defeat um Donald Trump. But that still doesn't um that still doesn't uh, you know, that still won't stop the Obamas from going well. Um, what if there is someone stronger than um, Kamala Harris that hasn't had their their turn to speak? And that's a very real um, uh, reality. But to be honest, Kamala's already run it um, and uh, uh, already got the support of, of many um, Democrats. Um, and I don't, uh, unless someone actually challenges her leadership from the Democratic Party, I don't think they want to, to be perfectly honest. I think they'd much prefer to be a vice president and then inherit um, uh, the leadership afterwards uh, um, because they're safer that way. Um, because you've got to remember, a US president can only take two terms, um, whereas a vice president, um, well, a vice president can stay as long as he or she wants, as long as she gets elected. So I think it's... Uh, economically safer to be a vice president than it is a president. Exactly. Leon, according to the Obamas, they have not endorsed Kamala Harris as yet. What do you think that is? 
I think they're waiting on the Democratic National Convention, which is going to take place in August uh, between the 19th and the 22nd in Chicago. I think that's probably the reason why they're waiting. I think they're weighing up to see uh, which way the Democrats uh, align themselves. Uh, in this case, most of them have already thrown their support behind Kamala Harris at this point. There, You did mention uh, Barack Obama and also Michelle Obama have not endorsed uh, Kamala Harris yet. Here's another name that has not endorsed Kamala Harris yet. Um, I, think I, just, I, just had, I just had a name at the top of my moment a moment ago. Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, that's it. Nancy Pelosi has not even endorsed her yet. I think what they're going to do is they're going to wait for the uh, National Convention, which unfortunately for those guys, it's still a month away. So they're going to wait and see what happens there. I'd imagine they're just weighing up all their options there. We'll know for sure on the 22nd of August, which will be at the final day of the convention in Chicago. I think well, we'll have that televised too. One of the It'll things... be televised for sure. On, the, on your news networks, it'll be televised for sure. One of the things that Nancy Pelosi actually did say um, was that when, before anyone actually knew about Biden's uh, decision today, um, the, the trouble is that she was saying that no one um, was was challenging Joe Biden at that time to step down. Um, Joe Biden himself um, has uh, said that he won't be uh, wanting to go for a second term today. Um, and I think uh, what, what's happening is um, a lot of um, the Democrats have basically said, well, um, you know, that they, they don't feel like they want to challenge um, Kamala Harris at this time. What they really want to fight for is the, the VP role. Um, that's, that's like, that's like the, for lack of a better word, the, um, the silver spoon of, um, the presidency uh, that's that's what the real contest is to be honest it's not the presidency it's the vice presidency because if you're on a meal ticket that's as that's as good as having the presidency um i i i see that that the thing is so but then again someone has to challenge kamala harris and challenging a black woman who's already had four years experience in the white house compared to other people that have had no experience in the White House, it's going to be a tough gig to follow. That's mm -hmm. why I think everyone wants the vice presidency, because at least in the vice presidency, you've got training for at least four years, um, whereas others won't have any experience. Mm. And they've got, to re they've got to be really, 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 really careful about what they say on, on camera because that could um, be one thing that could haunt them in the future. Mm. So, so they've got to be really careful of that. I think every former president who's a Democrat is going to attend um, the DNC national uh, the DNC, and I think when they hear the name, we pick Kamala Harris as our nominee for president of the United States. I think it's when. And I know I keep saying this history, but I'm going to say it. her story is a is a momentous occasion. It's I mean, do you remember as a kid, you in your garden you had this flower thing and it looks like fluff at the top, and you'd close your eyes and you make a wish and you just blow it. Oh yes, those things I remember those. It's kind of like that, that sort of wish in a moment was sort of like. Will I ever be president? And it's kind of like, hey, she's that close. She's that close. I can taste it. But the thing is, would would anyone want to say challenge that leadership with the blow of a wish? And and would they get the same support from the rest of the party? I think JD Vance is already uh running scared. He doesn't want to debate her. And um, that's a good, that's an interesting. You brought up an interesting question. You brought up interesting thought there, uh, Kat. By the way, sorry to interrupt. I'm um, assuming Donald Trump will want to have another debate. So the question is, who would he debate now? Would he debate Kamala, Kamala Harris, 
or what? He can't debate Joe Biden anymore because Joe Biden's already officially, quote unquote, stood down. But he will stay in office until his time runs, until his uh, time comes up, which I believe will be in January next year. So now the question is, who will he debate? Who will he debate? Kamala Harris or other? No. Good question. I have an answer for you. I have the answer for you, and that'll be Kamala Harris. So, in other words, who would J.D. Vance go up against in a debate? Kamala Harris. No, no, no. No. Um, uh, he... Vice President debate will be J.D. Vance versus Kamala Harris. No, no, no. I, 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 I would disagree with that. So, who's the Republican candidate um, under the Trump leadership? It's J.D. Vance, and he's supposed to debate her in the vice president debate. I, so, you, I so you think Kamala Harris is going to be debating both these guys? Yes. Uh, I, I don't yes. think I don't think that will, that will happen. I think that JD Vance will um, debate whoever, someone else. Um, the uh, Democrats choose to be vice president um, because that because I mean I mean could I mean he could help Donald Trump by bringing up um, topics, but it, it's kind of less of a pointless debate because he's not debating for the presidency of the United States. He's debating for the vice presidency of the United States. That's right. But he was supposed to debate Kamala Harris. I heard that too. But now he's changing his tune and saying, well, I don't want to debate her. I'm going to have to wait to see who she picks as her vice president. And that's and then debate her. Yeah, instead of debating her. Or him. him. Yeah. You know, it's just like Kamala wants to debate Trump. She She's wanting to debate him. So... It's it's gonna be a tough whoever whoever um Kamala chooses or whoever the Democratic Party chooses, um, it, like they um they'll have to choose someone that has basically either no history whatsoever, no bad history or no bad skeletons whatsoever, or someone um who is basically a household name, um and people know what their policies. Have brought to the um to the table. You speak of, speaking of skeletons, by the way, uh, I think it was about twenty years ago. I think it might, I don't know if it was ten years ago or twenty years ago. It might have been ten actually. But Donald Trump actually at one stage uh, during his time actually donated to Kamala Harris. Who? Donald Trump. Oh. At one stage, donated to Kamala Harris. I'm surprised that she has not even brought this up yet. You should bring that up as her main opening statement. I'll find that bit of I'll find that I'll find that article, but I saw it. I've seen it in a couple of articles where Donald Trump at one stage or another did donate to Kamala Harris. I heard that today actually. There you go. I heard the that more too. you know. But actually Donald Trump did actually say himself when asked if you were to pick a side um, who would you basically run with? And he said, oh, I'd run with the Republican Party because the people that vote in the Republican Party are, uh, are the dumbest people in America. <laughs> I, could, I could say whatever I want and still become president. Coming and from Donald Trump, who at one stage was yeah. a Democrat. Yes, he was. He was indeed. But so, he's, was... so he's having each side of the sausage here. Yep. <laughs> you know, so, but then again, he said he'd never become president as well, you know. Uh, and that well, was, that was a lie. <laughs> But as a person, as a woman, and a woman of the world, I am beyond thrilled. I am excited. I am elated. I am overjoyed. I'm over the moon. Kamala Harris, get ready. Nah, it's, it's, it's just it's the taste of it. I'm going to use Oprah's words by the Simpsons, Opal. Her legacy is now being written. Her legacy. <laughs> It it will be an interesting one, um, and I I I'll be interested to know how Kamala Harris smashes Donald Trump because there's a lot that that she can take down, and it'll be interesting how Donald Trump will try and take down Kamala Harris. That's it, right. Oh, he's gonna play dirty. Oh, Do you remember that Simpsons dirty. episode Ooh. where Marge decides her legacy and she becomes like a popsicle maker and stuff like that? Leon? I remember that episode. I'm using that episode as her legacy is just starting to be written. Well, that is it from us. Thank you so, 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 so much. This is history in the making, her story in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamala Harris will become 
the 47th president of the United States of America. Okay. So help me God. <laughs> um, I haven't won it yet. I won yet, but he... You realize we'll be calling you out on this if it doesn't happen. If it oh, doesn't you happen. Know, it'll it'll happen. happen. Sure. It'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen. Hey, I was this close with Hillary. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> but um, thank you so much to Buckets, Leon, and Luna. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that will help us get a lot of contact out there to you. We are loving the comments. Thank you so much for the love and support. Please make sure you invite your friends to um to subscribe to our channel. We are also on Anchor.fm and Spotify if you want to listen to us by audio as well. Um, and invite your friends to listen along. We'd love to know what you think, your thoughts, your feelings, and emotions. <laughs> Whatever, Leon. <laughs> yes, your PC runs are problem. <laughs> and it's got 85% complete. Whatever. <laughs> When we end this video, then it'll be 100% complete, won't it? Thank you so much to Luna and, and Leon and Buckets. We'll see you guys next, next week. Until then, peace, love. Stay warm and stay safe. God bless from all of us. Good night. Bye.